Welcome to CSEC Mathematics with Mr. Charles. Today we are looking at basic wage calculations. Basic wage equals the basic rate times the basic week. Or we can say that basic rate wage equals the basic rate times the basic part. Here is an example. A refinery operator works a basic week of 35 hours and his basic rate is $14.75. What is his basic wage? Well, basic wage equals basic rate times basic week. So that is 14.75 multiplied by 35. And that would give us $516.25. Here is a practice question. Please pause the video and attend to it. Okay, now that you have done that, let's go through it together. Calculate the basic wage. For the following factory worker. So we have Cassandra Pope. She works a 38 hour week at a basic rate of $8.60. Her basic wage would be $8.60 times 38 per hour here with cancel of hours. Okay, and 860 times 38 that would give us $326.80. So that is Cassandra's basic wage for the week. Here is another practice question again. Pause the video and attempt doing it. Okay, so it says a lady works a basic fortnight of 80 hours. A basic rate of pay is $6.25. We want to find out the basic wage for that fortnight. Okay, so that is $6.25 multiplied by 80 hours. That would give us five hundred dollars as the basic wage we have another practice question again pause the video and attempt doing it okay let's go through it together to ensure that we got it correct it says calculate the basic wage for the following can boiler man mr hazard okay he worked 80 hours in a fortnight and he get paid at a rate of nine dollars and twenty-five cents Okay, we want to find his basic wage. That is the basic rate times the basic fortnight, which is $9.35 multiplied by 80 hours. Okay, that would give us $748 as the basic, basic wage. Okay, so Mr. Hazard will get paid at $748 in that 80, 80 hour fortnight. Okay, let's look at basic rate. Basic rate is equal to the basic wage divided by the basic week, or we can say the basic rate equals the basic wage divided by, by the basic fortnight. Okay? Now, whichever formula that we use depends on how the, how often the person gets paid. So if the person is paid on a weekly basis, we would use this formula here. If the person gets paid on a fortnightly basis or every two weeks, we would use this formula here. Okay, so let's look at an example. A Grand Etang bus driver is paid $703 for a basic fortnight of 76 hours. Calculate his basic rate. As we learned before, basic rate was basic wage divided by the basic fortnight. That would be $703 divided by 76 hours, giving us a basic rate of $9.25 per hour. Okay, so if you got that, then well done. There is a practice question. Please pause the video and attempt doing it. Okay, so it says a man works a basic week of 32 hours and earns $172.48. Find his basic rate of P. Okay, basic rate was basic week divided by basic rate was basic wage divided by the basic week. Okay, that would be 172.48, which is the basic wage divided by 32 hours, which is the basic week. And that would give us $5.39 as the basic rate for that week. Okay, so this is the person's rate of pay. Now, here we have another practice question. Please read it, read it carefully, pause the video, and attempt doing it. Okay, let's go through it together. Calculate the basic rate for each of 
these factory workers. So we have two workers here. We have Ken Brown and we have Elwin Bristol. Okay, so Ken gets paid or he earns $254 for a 40 hour basic week. So his basic rate would be $254, which is his basic wage, divided by 40 hours, which is his basic week. And that would give us a basic rate of $6.35 per hour. Okay, so that is the rate at which Kent is being paid. Now, Elwin gets $306.25 on the other hand. Okay, for 35 hours of work. So his basic rate would be basic wage divided by basic week. That's $306.25. Divided by 35 hours. Okay? 35 hours. And that would give a basic rate of $8.75 per hour. Okay? So that's the answers you're supposed to get there. If you didn't get that, then go back and look at the example again. and show that you grasp the concept presented. Here we have another practice question. Okay? Pause the video and attempt to do it on your own. Then we would work it all together. Okay, so it says a man's wage for a 35-hour week. Okay, so that's a basic week here, 35 hours. The man's wage is $263.90. Calculate his hourly rate of payment. So the hourly rate is the same as the basic rate. Okay, that's just another way of saying basic rate. So the basic rate, same formula. Basic wage divided by the basic week. That would be 263.90, 263.90 divided by 35 hours, and that would give us $7.54 per hour. Okay, so that is a man's hourly rate of payment. Okay, so congratulations if you got that correct. Here is another practice question. Again, pause the video and we'll solve it afterwards. Okay, so here. The question says calculate the basic rate for each of these mechanics. So we have one mechanic, Donnelly Charles. He gets paid at $788 for 80 hours of work. So his basic rate for that fortnight would be the basic wage divided by the basic fortnight. And that is $788. Divided by 80 hours, okay, giving him a basic rate of $9.85 per hour, right? $9.85 per hour, that's it. His basic rate for the fortnight. Then we have Kevin Douglas, okay, who gets paid $633.75, okay, and Kevin worked for 75 hours, so his basic rate would be. Basic wage divided by basic fortnight, that's 633.75, which is the basic wage, divided by 75 hours, which is the basic fortnight. So that would give a basic rate of $8.45 per hour. Okay, and that is Kevin's basic rate of pay. So now that we've looked at basic rate and basic wage, let's look at basic week and basic fortnight. Now, the expression used for calculating basic week is the same one used for calculating basic fortnight. And that's because both of them have the same unit. They are measured in, in terms of number of hours worked. So we see that the basic week or the basic fortnight, right? The basic week or the basic fortnight equals the basic wage divided by the basic rate. Okay? And that would be, okay? BW divided by BR. Now let's look at an example. So it says a seamstress works for a basic wage of $236 and her basic rate is $6.75 per hour. Okay, calculate her basic rate. Okay, or calculate actually her basic week. So we want to find the basic week, okay, given the basic wage and the basic rate. So the basic week is equal to 
the basic wage divided by the basic rate. And that would be $236, which is the basic wage, okay, divided by $6.75 per hour, which is the basic rate, giving us a basic rate of 34.9 hours or approximately 35 hours. Okay, that's a basic week there. So here is a practice question. Pause the video and attempt to do it by yourself. Okay, so it says calculate the basic week for each of these workers. And for convenience, we'll call this one here worker number one, and this one we'll call worker number two. So worker number one gets a wage of $328.70 okay at a rate of eight dollars and sixty five cents per hour so his basic week would be okay the basic wage divided by the basic rate which would be three hundred twenty eight dollars and seventy cents divided by eight dollars and sixty five cents that would give us a basic week of thirty eight hours okay that's the answer you're supposed to get there for worker number one then we have worker number two, okay, worker number two here, who gets paid $274.05 at a basic rate of $7.83. Okay, so his basic week would be $274.05 or $274.05, which is the basic wage, divided by $7.83, which is the basic rate, okay? And that would give us 35 hours, which is the basic week. Okay, 35 hours. Okay, so that, that's the second worker's basic week. Okay, so well done if you got those correct. Now, here we have another practice question that involves an operator. Pause the video and attempt calculating it. Okay, so let's go through the solution together. An operator works a basic fortnight at a basic rate of $8.95 and earns $671.25. Determine the basic fortnight for the operator. Okay? So the basic fortnight would be the basic wage divided by the basic rate. And that would be $671.25, which is the basic wage divided by eight dollars and ninety five cents which is the basic rate okay for that fortnight so the basic fortnight would be 75 hours right because when you divide 671.25 by 895 you would get 75 hours okay and that is the, the operator's basic rate of p okay so well done if you got that correct here is another practice question pause the video and attempt doing it so now that you have done that, let's go through it together. It says calculate the basic fortnight for each of the following workers. We we'll call worker number one, this one here worker number one, and we'll call this one worker number two for convenience or ease of calculation. So worker number one gets paid $527.20, right, at a rate of $6.59 per hour. Okay, so it's basic fortnight would be his basic wage divided by his basic rate which is 527.20 the basic wage divided by okay six dollars and fifty nine cents which is the basic rate okay and that would give us a basic fortnight of 80 hours okay 80 hours then worker number two gets five hundred sixty six dollars and twenty cents okay $566.20 at a rate of $7.45 per hour. So basic wage, $566.20 divided by basic rate, $7.45 would give a basic fortnight of 76 hours. Okay, and that answers to this question number 10. Okay, so great job if you got that correct. Now, here I've included some additional questions involving basic wage and this is an example. So it says Robin starts work each day at 7.30 a.m. Okay, so he starts at 7.30 a.m. 
and it finishes at 4.30 p.m. He has a 45-minute lunch break for which he is not paid. Okay, then part A of the question asks, how many hours, okay, how many hours, okay, does he work in a normal five-day week? Okay, in a normal five-day week. Then the part B of the question asks, find his basic wage, okay, if his rate of pay is seven, his rate of pay is seven dollars and twenty-five cents per hour. Okay, so I've underlined all the question has had all the information the question has given us. Let's attempt to solve it now. So for part A, we want to find the basic week because we are asked how many hours. How many hours means you have to calculate the basic week because it's how many hours in a normal five day week. A normal five day week is a basic week. Okay, now to get that, we have to multiply the hours work per day or the number of hours work per day by five. Okay, because the, the, the basic week has five days. Okay, so the question did not tell us how many hours Robin works for per day. What the question gives us is that the question tells us that he start, started working at 7.30 a.m. And finished working at 4.30 p.m. Okay, and he had a 45-minute lunch for which he is not paid. So, we have to subtract 7.30 from 12 first, then add the difference to 4.30 to get the total number of hours from start to end, and then subtract 45 minutes from that to get the hours he spent actually working. Okay, because we want to spend, we want to find the, the time he spent working, actually working, not on lunch. Okay, so we say 12 subtract 730, that would give us 430. Okay, 12 subtract 730, that would give us 430. And then we would have to take that 430 and add it to this 430 here. Okay. That would give us nine hours. Okay, so here we add the four thirty plus the four thirty, and we get nine hours. Okay, and then we have to remember there is forty five minutes that is spent on lunch that we have to subtract. So we took the forty five minutes, bring it here. Then this one we bring it on here. So so far what we have been doing is carrying on the forty five minutes, but now we get the total hours from seven thirty to. 30 to be 9 hours, we have to convert the 45 minutes to hours and convert minutes to hours by dividing by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. Okay, so 45 divided by 60, we would have to subtract that from 9. But before we do that, we have to simplify this. So what is the highest common factor between 45 and 60? Well, it is 15, right? 15 is the highest number that can go exactly into 45 and 60, right? And when I say exactly, I mean without leaving a remainder. 15 divided into 45 is 3, okay? 15 divided into 45, let me just erase that. 15 divided into 45, okay, is 3, okay? And 15 divided into 60 is 4. And 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. Okay, 3 divided by 4, okay, equals 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Okay, a 3 quarters, 75%. So 0 0.75 subtracted from 9 hours, because this is 0 0.75 hours. Right, subtracted from nine hours. So now we have both of them as hours we can subtract. So 0 0.75 from nine would give us 8.25. Okay, so in one day he worked 8.25 hours. But remember, we want how, much, how many hours he worked in five days. So, so far, what we have been doing, we have dropped down the five from there to here, we have brought it down here. Also, so we have been carrying down the five all along, five days, okay? Carrying it down until we reach this point here, okay? 
So now we have the 8.25 hours. We could multiply that by 5 days to get the number of hours he worked in 5 days. And that is 41.25 hours. That 8.25 times 5 is 41.25. Okay, so in 5 days, okay, Robin would have worked 41.25 hours. Now, part B of the question asks us to calculate the basic wage or find the basic wage if the basic rate is $7.25. So, basic wage is equal to basic rate times the basic week. Okay? We know that the basic week is 41.25 hours. And the, the question tells us that the basic rate is seven dollars and twenty-five cents per hour. So seven twenty-five times forty-one twenty-five, that gives us two hundred ninety-nine dollars and six cents. Okay, and that is the basic wage. That is Robin's basic wage for that for that um that that um forty-one point two five hour week. Okay, so that that's the answer there. Now here is a question for you to do. Okay, and that is the last question we will do for the day. Please pause the video and attempt to win it by yourself. Okay, now that you have done that, let's go through the solution together. Okay, and I'll, I'll do this one in, in proper. So, Mr. Sheldon starts work each day at 8 a.m. Okay, and finishes at 4 p.m. He has a 30-minute lunch break for which he is not paid. Part A, how many hours? Again, how many hours? Not how many minutes. Okay, that's important. How many hours does he work in a normal 10-day fortnight? So here we're dealing with a fortnight. So we have to, first of all, we have to find how many hours from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, and we do that by subtracting first 8 from 12 okay 8 from 12 is 4 so that's 4 hours okay 4 hours and when we add then after we subtract 8 from 12 and get 4 we have to add the 4 we get to the next 4 hours from 12 to 4 to get 8 hours okay then when we get that 8 hours we have to take into consideration the 30 minute lunch Right, remember we have been carrying that down all the time, the 30 minute lunch, because he's not paid for lunch. Okay, so since he's not paid for lunch, that should not go down in his production hours. Right, but we cannot just subtract 30 minutes from 8 hours, we have to convert the 30 minutes to hours. Okay, to be able to subtract it from 8 hours. And we convert minutes to hours by dividing by 60. There are 60 minutes, there are 60 minutes in, a, in an hour. Okay, so 30 divided by 60 would, would convert these 30 minutes to hours. So this is not just 30 over 60, this is 30 over 60 hours. So now we have to simplify that. Okay, what's the highest number that would go into both 60 and 30 without leaving the remainder? That is the number 30 itself. So 30 into 30 is 1 and 30 into 60 is 2. Okay, so that's half. And half is the same as 0 0.5. Okay? So, that's half an hour. 30 minutes is half an hour. 0 0.5 hours. So, 8 subtract 0 0.5 would give us the production hours for the day. Okay? And then we have to multiply that by 10 days to get the basic fortnight. Okay? Or the, the number of hours he worked in a 10 day fortnight. So, 8 subtract 0 0.5 would give us 7.5. Okay, 7.5 hours he, he was productive during the day. Okay, he was productive for 7.5 hours. Now we have to take that 7.5 hours by 10 days to get 75 hours. So in a basic fortnight, Mr. Sheldon worked 75 hours. Okay, and that 75 hours right is his basic fortnight as i stated okay remember the 10 days was carried down from here all the way to here so we have been carrying it down all along okay so now we have to calculate the basic wage part two of the question says find his basic 
wage if his sick rate of pay is $8.75 per hour. So the basic wage is equal to the basic rate times the basic fortnight, and that is equal to seven seventy-five hours, right? Here at the basic fortnight, right? Multiplied by eight dollars and seventy-five cents as the basic rate. At eight seventy-five times seventy-five, that would give us six hundred fifty-six dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, that is the basic wage for Mr. Sheldon. Okay, so I hope you got you you understand that, and I hope that this video was of help to you. Right? Please, if it was of help to you, please like the video and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button. Thank you very much, and do enjoy the rest of your day.